everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss the story of Ruth and the love story that is connected to her. I would like to discuss how Boaz and Ruth got together. Excuse me. It all starts with Naomi living in the land of Boab with her family. And when Ruth was a little girl, she was a Judean who got sold by her father to the Moabites to work in the house. So as she was growing up, she became a priestess and worshipped Kamash. He was a god made out of stone. And they did human sacrifice. They were sacrificed little girls. And so one day, she met one of Naomi's sons named Malon, who happens to be a metal, work, metal maker. He made crowns of gold swords, you know, and so forth. So, she needed a crown for the little girl to be sacrificed. So, they met up. He made the crown for her. He gave it to her. And he started telling her about what's wrong with what they was doing. To the Most High, everything they was doing was wrong. Did not believe in human sacrifice. So, it intrigued her. More and more that he told her about the Most High. So one day, he kept meeting her at her palace where she lived at. And they became having a relations and they got caught. And sadly to say, Naomi's sons and husband got murdered by the Moabites due to the fact that they found out that Ruth and Malon was having an affair behind everybody's back. Okay. So, Naomi ended up leaving Moab to go back to Bethlehem, and she took Ruth with her since she was her daughter-in-law because she got married to her son before he passed. It's a beautiful love story, but it has tragic endings. And, um... She went back to Bethlehem slash Judah and told Ruth to go into the fields because it was harvest time. Go glean and pick the harvest with the other maidens. And you probably find her husband there. So as she's gleaning, she meets Naomi's cousin who was next in line to get married. Because, you know, Naomi's sons died, and she was married to one of her sons, so the next person in line would either be a son or a cousin, next of kin. So, as this is going on, Boaz comes into the scene and meets Naomi, meets Naomi and Ruth. And he tell, she tells him about her. <coughs> Excuse me. So, he goes out, and he meets Roof, he finds her very fascinating, and turns out you know finds out that she's a virtuous woman. Um, in those days, being a virtuous woman was up, you know, very important. So she got married to Boaz. He had to go through the sermon of telling the cousin that was next in line that he wanted to marry her. And the cousin threw his shoe as a way of saying that it's okay, Boaz, you can marry her since you love her. And they got married, and she got pregnant with Obed. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse became the father of David. David became the father of Solomon, and so forth and so forth. And that's how Yeshua was born in that line. Of David. 
So the, the moral of the story is, basically, when you're in one relationship or a failed relationship, the Most High will show favor and will bring a man in your life that will treat you good, show you respect, love you, unconditional, and make you feel like you're, there's nothing in the world more than you. And that's how Boaz and Ruth was. He saw only her and she saw only him. And they fell in love and they got married. And, and I can say as a testimony, after having two failed relationships, that the Lord had blessed me with a great, beautiful man. He is my Boaz. And I wouldn't give him up for nothing in this world. And if you out there and you have your Boaz, and if you're a man and you have your roof, love them unconditional. Because the Most High had his hand in that matrimony and relationship. And, um,. If you're interested in reading the story of Ruth, it's in the King James Version. It's Ruth, chapter, I'm going to tell you the page. It's the book of Ruth, page 379, chapter 1, all the way through, excuse me. to verse 22 of page 382. It's a short story, but it gives you a lot of information. And it's the truly the most loving love story of the Bible. And I'm going to close out here. And um, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Shabbat Shalom, and I'll see you another time. Bye.